Black Op Radio presents 50 Reasons for 50 Years. Why the Warren Commission may be the greatest fraud perpetrated on the American public. Now your host, Len Osanek. In this episode, we discuss Sylvia Odio, a witness the Warren Commission had to discredit. A cover-up surrounded her story, which had Lee Oswald in Dallas the same time the Warren Commission had him in Mexico City. Author Jim DiEugenio explains. This is Jim DiEugenio. In late September of 1963, two Cuban men showed up at Silvio Odio's door in her apartment in the Dallas area, and there was one Caucasian man. The two Cuban men introduced themselves as Angelo and Leopoldo. They introduced their Caucasian friend as Leon Oswald. They were there because she was part of a Cuban group called Jure. And they said that they were ostensibly there to solicit funds for the anti-Castro Cuban cause. She talked to them for several minutes. Her sister was also there and she saw them also. And then finally she decided that she wasn't going to give them information about how to solicit funds because she didn't think they were familiar enough with the jury cause. And now we find that the prime suspect in the case, uh, and he is only that at the moment, uh, has an identity of association with extreme left-wing groups. This is um, Lee Oswald, 24-year-old former Marine, who is being questioned about... On the day of the Kennedy assassination, when she saw Oswald's photograph on TV, she fainted because she recognized that the Caucasian man called Leon was Lee Harvey Oswald. This was hit home to her because after the visit, one of the Cubans named Leopoldo called her up a day or so later and asked her what she thought of Leon Oswald. Described him as a former Marine who had come from New Orleans. He was an expert shot. He was a little bit crazy. And he thought that they should have done away with President Kennedy after the Bay of Pigs and that it would be easy to do so. What makes Odio such a good witness is she communicated with more than one person about this incident before the assassination. She sent a letter to her father about the incident because the two men said they knew her father. And she talked to her psychiatrist about it. And she talked to a friend about it there in Dallas, Fort Worth. When she fainted, she actually went to the hospital. Her sister, who was there that night, visited her and they both decided that that had been the man, that Oswald had been the man who they saw that night. What happened, of course, after this, is there began to be a cover-up by both the FBI and the Warren Commission about this particular incident. And the Warren Commission ended up saying that they didn't believe Odio, even though she was a terrifically credible witness. In Sylvia Marr's book called Accessories After the Fact, she writes a whole chapter on the Odeo incident, and she titles it The Proof of the Plot. And it is very, very convincing, both her as a witness and the fact that it certainly does appear that approximately seven weeks in advance of the assassination, somebody was setting up Oswald to take the fall for the Kennedy assassination. The FBI claimed William Seymour was actually Leon Oswald, even as he denied it and as the FBI was in possession of work records showing Seymour in Florida in September 1963. The Warren Commission had already placed Oswald on a bus to Mexico at the same time the Sylvia Odio incident occurred. Stay tuned for the next installment as we expose week after week 50 lies the Warren Commission would like you to believe.